then let's get to it. Building completed. That way? Building completed. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. For the fire wielders! Fair enough. Let's do this. A good idea. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. So, what's the plan? Commander, we finished researching a new technology. No way through here. Sure. Interesting. Building completed. Let's see. Huh. Looks like Building a completed. Doesn't it? Yeah, and a pretty well fortified one for that matter. Is it open? No, it's locked. But I doubt it would lead us to the castle anyway. Maybe we can use it later to get across the border. Now would you look at that. In abandoned. We need to gather more wood, Commander. Yes. All right, then. Let's go. Hmm. Sure. I repent. I'm sorry. I, I repent. I, I said I, I repent. I've allowed Aenir into my life, and I've accepted his light. So please don't kill me. He thinks we're with the purity. Oh, you're not. Then, um, who are you? Enemies of the Harbinger. You? Oh, look, um, I really want no trouble. Do what you want. I won't stop you, but please just leave me out of this. Building completed. I understand that. But if you know anything that could help us in our fight, you need to tell us. Well, sorry to disappoint, but I really don't know what I could tell you. Well, all right then. Tiara's blessings. Tiara's blessings, or Aeonir's light, whatever you prefer. Hmm? Well then. Huh. Looks like a tunnel, doesn't it? Yeah, and a pretty well fortified one for that matter. Is it open? No, it's locked. 
But I doubt it would lead us to the castle anyway. Maybe we can use it later to get across the border. Master ah! Hmm. What do you want? Building completed. That's a good idea. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Building completed. Whatever's necessary. It's over already. They will fall. There's nothing. For the fire wielders! So, what's the plan? Yes. You'll have to wait! We killed one of our heroes. They will fall. You'll regret this. Yeah. 
I need help over here. He killed one of our heroes. Good work, Tahar. I wasn't certain until now, but you know how to lead. What now? We need to make a stand here. Like this, the castle won't hold a minute against a full-fledged assault by the Utran forces. And I'm sure those soldiers who fled have already notified Myra. Oh, whoever is controlling her. Good. I'll tell her men to set up some defenses here. Let's hope it'll be a while before they strike back. The more time we have to prepare, the better. What about your strike team? You said you're expecting backup. Yes. Iskrim is on his way. He should be at the border by now. Good. Then we should use what time you have left to prepare. We... Corporal Tahar! Yes? The enemy armies. They are crossing the Utran border, just as you predicted. How long until they'll be here? I don't know. It looks as if they're still in preparation, but probably not much longer. Damn it! What about my sister? Is she there? Not in the front lines, no. Understood. Dismissed, Private. Sir. Blasted. That's sooner than I expected. What now? We need to be quick. Position our troops, fortify any choke points, secure as much territory as we need for an effective defense. Because as soon as the purity strikes, there'll be no more time for that. You and your strike team have to move quickly. In other words, this is our last chance to make fortifications. And the longer we can hold them back, the more time you'll have to locate the room carriers. Understood. Then we best get started. So, what's the plan? Good move. The rocker.
So much to do. Oh, All that little time. Building completed. Corporal? Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. Yes? This will be a masterpiece. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. the way. Uh, all right, why not? Understood. Commander, we finished researching a new technology. Building completed. Well then. Building completed. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. It'll only take a second. This? Building completed.
Commander, we finished researching a new technology. Building completed. This will be a masterpiece. Ah, that should work. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. Building completed. <clears throat> Building completed. Building completed. Yes, five. Sounds like a plan. You got it. This way, right?
That's a good idea. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Uh-huh. Will do. Building completed. Chop, chop, man. Building completed. This would be a masterpiece. Building completed. You got it. Just give the word. Building completed. Right. Give me a second. Building completed. Yes. Building completed. Building completed. Yes. Expansion is the key to victory. The outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Commander, we finished researching a new technology. This will be a masterpiece. This will be a masterpiece. All right, give me a second. The 
outpost has been built. We've expanded our borders. Huh? Building completed. Blasted armor. Got it. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. What do we need? Building completed. Our provisions are running low. We need more food. So much to do. Let's so get little time. It'll only take a second. Commander, we finished researching a new technology. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes. At your command. Uh, something you need? Building completed. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. Well then. Our provisions are running low. We need more food. Building completed. Let me take a sec. All right, then, let's get to it. What's next? Time to reveal the full plan, I guess. How are we supposed to get behind their lines? You're gonna meet with an inside man. Hervius. A spy? Yes. He's been sounding out the purity since your escape from Greykeep. One of Sentenzen's former men. Before we set out here, I've ordered him to infiltrate the Utran army. He will wait for you near the border wall in the east. How will he recognize me? Is there a... I don't know, code word? 
I hate to shatter your master spy fantasies, but your face is well known by now to her. He knows whom to expect. How sure are you of his loyalty? After what happened between Sintenza and me, he might be... No. I know Hervius personally, and he's one of the most capable and loyal spies the Royal Army has to offer. Understood. Remind me, what exactly do we do once we find the rune carriers? We take it away from them. Once we physically own it, we can order Lady Moira to stop the attack and join Angar in the castle. And then we immediately take that thing to the Nexus and destroy it to break the spell completely, correct? Correct. Maybe you can use a Godstone to get back here once you have Moira. That will be safer. Fair enough. Anything else? Yes. Be quick. Avoid unnecessary combat. Now go to her. And good luck. Likewise. Corporal? Hmm? I'll take a look. One of our heroes. I need help over here. Yes. Sounds like a plan. Good thinking. This will make it easier for Angar. Sure. Yeah. I need help over here. will make it easier for Angar. Interesting. the area. Let's see. Hervius, isn't it? Aye, and you are Taha. Hmm, I don't think you remember me, do you? Should I? <laughs> uh, never mind. So Angar told me about your mission. Mind control. Shape her runes. It all sounds quite adventurous, if you don't mind me saying. So here's the situation. If those rune carriers exist, they would probably be in the northwest, in the old Iskandar loyalist camp. I see. And how do we get past that wall? Why did the Purity build it to begin with? Purity? No, you misunderstand. It was House Utran who gave the order, because those refugees wouldn't stop coming. But to answer your question, there are two ways I know of. The first one leads, brace yourselves, through the gate. It will be very hard to find an opening, though, with all the troops swarming through. And the second one? That one's a tad trickier. 
Apparently, there are tunnels smugglers once used to get wares over the Utron border. Word has it that some of the refugees used it to get across, too. Hmm. Both ways sound pretty risky to me. The first one because it might get us killed. The second one because it will cost us time. And we don't even know if it exists. Well observed, Taha. But I'm afraid it's all I can offer. Once you make it past the wall, it should be easier. Just make sure to avoid the patrolling troops. All right. Thank you, Hervius. Nothing to thank me for. Just, if this mind control thing is real, you have to put an end to it. Nobody should have that power. I couldn't agree more. Will do. Hmm. If the refugees... Now, would you look at that? Huh. Looks like a tunnel, doesn't it? Yeah, and a pretty well-fortified one for that matter. Is it open? No, it's locked. But I doubt it would lead us to the castle anyway. Maybe we can use it later to get a... That way? That's the way. We'll only take a second. Danger up ahead! Let's see. This chop chop, man. Let's get to work. Huh? Let's get to it. This way, right? Sounds like a plan. Hmm. Now, would you look at that? What the? Uh, you again? What are you doing? <laughs> That's my... Um... Then it would be greatly appreciated if you... I get that. But I mean, what do I get in return? <sighs> no, you may... And now you want it... That would... It's all... No. Uh, but... Nah. So much for not my enemy, huh? <laughs> Fine. Lots of the other... And as far as... Near the camp... On... Right below the... All right. That... Uh, it's not like I had much... Go ahead. Zarin. Why did you do this? Because I'm not playing errand boy while our time is running out. Hmm. <laughs> Let's 
see. Yes, that's it. Find the key? Yeah, at least I think so. Here we go. I think it's better if one of us scouts the way first. Iskrim, you go in. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. What happens when I'm through? Will you come after me? No, I think it's better if you look for a godstone nearby. Then the rest of us can use it to teleport ourselves. Fine then, I'll see you on the other side. I'm fine. I'll be true in a moment. You got Understood. it. Oh, we should get moving. Good job. No, always a pleasure. Now let's find Lady Utron and this rune carrier. Uh, all right, why not? Let's see. Aeneer's light! Intruders! Myra, run! Myra, run. Fight the fight. See if they have the rune. Inter interesting. It connected with you. Just like the Harbinger's rune did. I think you can control Lady Myra now. Then let's go find her. Sure. Mm hmm. Sounds like a plan. Understood. This way, right? More fighting. Does this never end?
Interesting. Lady Myra? Lady Myra. Ellen's reigns. Iskrim, what do we do now? What's happening to her? Uh, well, she's still under the control of the rune, so you should be able to give her orders now. Just as the rune carriers did. Go ahead, try it. What now? What now? Order her to stop the assault on the fortress. Hmm. All right. Command your men to lay down their weapons and stop the assault on the fortress. The Ushran House is now no longer allied with the Purity, but with Nortander. I command my men to lay down their weapons and stop the assault on the fortress. The Utran House is no longer allied with the Purity, but with Nortander. <sighs> she sounds different than when the Purity priests commanded her. I think that's because her mind needs to... adjust. All right. Then back to Angar. Once we've made sure he's safe, we'll head back to Mullendir. We've done what we came here for. Here we are. Now destroy that bloody rune. Shouldn't we at least study it first? I mean, we don't know what... Are you deaf? Destroy it! All right, all right. I'll take care of it now. But I need... privacy. Are you trying to trick me, dwarf? I swear, if you... Fine, come then. Come and keep shouting at me all you like. Because that's the best way to ensure I'll make a mistake and have that rune cause your sister's brain to explode. <sighs> all right. You'll get your privacy. Uh, I'll go find a bed for Myra in the meantime. She needs water and... and food. Follow me to her. To this day, the Shaper's magical and technological prowess remains unrivaled. One thing is clear. None of their All right, here we are. Iskrim? What's the matter? I won't do it. What? You heard me. I will not destroy the rune. Are you joking? This thing is what's controlling Lady Myra. Yes, it is, but there's something I haven't told you. Something I only found out a week ago. Yes? The Shapers. I finally understand their secret. Why they persisted for so long. Why during their reign there was not a single power who dared to defy them. Not even the dragons. Why there was peace. The rune. It all makes sense now. The Shapers used these runes to control, to ensure stability. They enslaved their own people by exerting mind control. Is that what you're getting at? Enslaved? <laughs> so a murderer put behind bars is a slave too? No, Tahar. They used the runes to protect their empire from its enemies, from outside and from within. Don't you see? This is the reason why there were no wars, no coups, no stupid rebellions. Because the Shapers had the power to correct misguidance. And the best thing about it? The control didn't even suffer. They merely had their views readjusted and continued to live on a normal life. Lady Myra doesn't seem normal at all. She acts like some kind of... machine. Yes, because neither we nor the Purity have even come close to comprehending the true power of the Rune. We're sodding amateurs! What about the ghosts who protected this place? They seem to have gotten more than a little readjustment. Yes, probably because their crimes required a more severe punishment. Isn't that poetic justice? Rather than killing a wrongdoer, he's bound to protect those he wanted to hurt. Just imagine the potential of this. And you think this is a good thing? Being able to bend minds to your will? Look, Tar, I'm not stupid. I, I know there's a danger in that power, but there's a danger in every power. Blasted, you're a mage. Thousands of people would like to see you born, and just because they're afraid of that power inside you. Your magic, just like the rune, it's, it's a tool. Don't you see that? And a tool is neither good nor evil. It's merely a potential. And this, Tar, this is the potential to change the world for the better. 
So what's your plan? Use the rune to create a second Shaper Empire? No, use it for the greater good. For us, for our purpose. For our battle against that lunatic Lacane. Damn it, Tahar. This might be the key that I've been looking for. The key for stability. For peace. I will not destroy it. Iskrim, calm down. There has to be another way. No, there isn't. Iskrim, you've said it yourself. With Myra's current state of mind, she cannot help us win over the other houses. And without them, we'll never recapture Greykeep. Lacane will win. Please, you have to trust me with this. The rune must be destroyed. I... <sighs> Fine. Fine. But I'm doing this for you. You understand me? I will destroy it. But as soon as there's time, I will start my research again. And no, you cannot stop me. Agree with me or not, I know this power can do good. I just know it. It's done. Go see out the Lady Meyer at the heart. I need time. I don't understand. What do you mean? Cold? I don't know, Angar. I just... feel different. Taha, what... what happened? Did the dwarf destroy the room? He did. I see. Well, something is off. Myra, she's... different. What? Myra? I... I don't know. I feel... strange. Cold. See? That bloody ruin, it did something to her mind. Lady Myra, what do you mean by cold? Dark. Empty. I don't know how to describe it. Forgive me. But you remember who you are, don't you? I am Lady Myra Emmeline Arendir, third-born daughter of House Utran. <sighs> It's probably just temporary. She'll get better. And you know that how? <sighs> None of this should have happened. None of it. Myra, you... You should get some rest. Things might be different tomorrow. Yes, brother. As you say. Come. Let us call your companions. There's things that need discussing. All right. Now that my sister is safe and we have the Utran army beside us, we need to discuss our course of action. As I've hinted at already, there are two more problems we need to take care of before we can gather to convince the other royal houses to join forces with us and reconquer Greykeep. Lacane's Iron Ones. And the Leonida forces. Iron Ones? You mean these giant walking armors? Yes. We need to destroy the place where the Purity manufactures them. And we need to eliminate Amaria Leonida, who has allied herself with the Harbinger. House Leonida has the strongest army in Nortander. Wouldn't it be wiser to forge the alliance with Wolfgar and Hallett first and then deal with them? It would, but Leonida is controlling the borders. In other words, until we've taken care of her and the Ironborn, we couldn't move the Wolfgar or Hallett forces, even if they agreed to an alliance. Any idea what these... Iron Ones actually are. Golems? No, I doubt it. They have the magical signature of a human. I guess we'll need to find out. Yes, though I'm fairly certain the Harbinger's new magic has to do with it. The Archfire. But if that's the case, how are we supposed to deal with that? Well, according to my scouts, there is a place where they are being created by whatever unholy power is behind this. And it seems that this smeltery, if you want to call it that, is in the Windwall foothills. So we travel to Windwall and burn down that factory. Is that the plan? Yes. It's a simple task, but it won't be easy. We can be sure that the Purity is doing all in their power to protect it. Amaria Leonida allied herself with the Harbinger? Why? 
Because she's probably the most ardent follower of the Purity's teaching, she was the first truly influential Nortandian to repent when Lacane's new religion was founded, and also the first to declare her unconditional loyalty after Lacane showed his true face and took over Grayfo. Could that also have something to do with what happened during the Mage War? That her sons fell in the last battle against my father? I'm pretty sure it has. Did you know that she attempted to commit suicide? That was only months after the Queen had put an end to her father's doing. So yes, her loyalty to the Purity almost certainly has to do with her losses. She also despises you, as is Samo Taha's child, from the bottom of her heart. That's not good. How do you plan to neutralize her? We can't just move our army into Leonider territory. That would be suicide. Well, that's where we got lucky. Amaria Leonida has taken up position in the Eye. In the marshlands? Why? My guess is as good as yours. But I suppose it has to do with your father's laboratory. I doubt Lacane is done with it. So, Amaria is leading the army herself? How? I didn't know she knew about warfare. Well... Where it has it that the Harbinger has, how should I say, granted Amaria a gift as a token of gratitude for her loyalty. Magical powers, in other words. Maybe even a part of this archfire energy. And no, I don't know if these rumors are true, but we'll have to consider them when we make our plan. Well, seems like this will be quite the battle. Indeed, which is why we need a good strategy. Fair enough. Then let's start making preparations. Good. I'll be here if you need me. Corporal Tahar? Uh, Corporal Tahar! Private Miller, isn't it? What's the matter? I... I have news. Bad news. Report. Uh, our scouts, uh, they reported something. A dragon has appeared near the canyon. An elder. An elder? You mean... Yes. From the legends. What? But they've been asleep for centuries. Well, apparently not. Are you sure this isn't a mistake? Quite sure. The Iron Falcons found three keepers torn apart and scorched in a way that only a dragon could do it. But what's even more alarming is that the Falcons believe that said dragon is heading our way. Why? I don't know, Corporal. I just don't know. What are your orders? We need to confirm the rumor. But how? I'm only a scout, Corporal. By the way I see it, we only have two options. Wait, or act. If we wait, the dragon might attack Mulandir without us being prepared. If we act, at least we're the ones who decide where the confrontation will happen. Huh. You have a point. What if the scouts are wrong, and the dragon isn't here for us? It is a possibility. Where is the dragon now? Is it... moving? I don't think so. According to the Falcons, it has landed in a small oasis in the scorching desert. A one or two day journey from Aenir's Blade. What... What will you do, Corporal? I know this war is already taking up all of your resources, but we cannot just stand by and watch while that creature comes at us, can we? I'll travel to the oasis and see for myself. I, I understand. You want me to tell the others? I'll do it when we head out. Dismissed, Private. Sir? Yes? Uh, hey. How are things? Any troubles with the Ash Reavers yet? No. It's all good. They respect me, and they respect you. And as long as that's a given, they won't cause any trouble. Not for us, that is. Is something on your mind, Gore? You seem... I don't know... rattled. What do you think, Tahar? It's about Kagan, isn't it? Yeah. Look, Tahar. The thing with the knife. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. Without me, the Fire Wielders would have broken apart. And it would have been you and all of Eo who would have paid the price. Just so I could have my personal catharsis. What I'm trying to say is... Sorry. That was selfish. And it was stupid. No need to apologize, Gore. Really. Mm. Anyway, for what it's worth, 
I'm glad we didn't have to kill him. I feel relieved. At least a little. Anything else you need? Hmm? I've been wondering. Do you have a family? Heirs? <laughs> uh, that question came unexpected. Is it so hard to answer? It isn't. No. I don't have a family. Save for my sisters. How come? Well, I'm afraid to understand my answer, I need to go back a little. You see, I had always known what my life would look like, long before it became what it is. You see, House Arendir is one of the eldest of Northander. The role of every Arendir had already been chosen the moment he or she was given birth to. For me, it was always clear that I would be the Lord Marshal of the Royal Army. So your parents forced you to do this? Let me put it this way. It was my duty. Of course, I could have rebelled, but even back then, I had already come to realize that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Sure, I too had had my share of boyhood dreams, but betraying my parents and the realm had never been an option. Being a royal commander sounds an awful lot like a boyhood dream to me. I guess it does. But you need to keep in mind that we are Arendeers were raised for this. I knew from the start that a military path had little to do with the tale of brave knights in shining armor from the poems and the plays. People, especially in youth, often crave for what they don't have. The fisherman's daughter might dream of a life as a princess, whereas the princess aches for the charming vagabond to take her to an exotic place far away from her life of etiquette, stern-faced governesses, and arranged marriage. What did you dream of? Also a charming sellsword who'd take you to exotic places? <laughs> Very funny. You see, one of my uncles had been a seaman. His branch of the family was by far the least powerful one, but whenever he came to visit, I didn't leave his side for a minute. He had sailed to Calais to meet with the Blood Oracle, to Imperium, to the great Colosseums, and once, he had even sailed all around the lands of winter. You can imagine that for me as a boy, his stories were a lot more exciting than my lessons in math, history, and politics. And more than once after his visits, I found myself lying in bed and wondering what it would be like to just pack my bags, enlist on one of the trade ships, and see all these marvels my uncle had told me about myself. <laughs> A foolish fantasy, of course, but still, it existed. But yet, you never seriously contemplated becoming a seaman. No. I was young, yes, but I wasn't a fool. Even if duty and loyalty had not been a concern of mine, I knew that my uncle only told me about the good parts of his life. He never spoke of how a snowstorm cost him three of his fingers, and why he always carried a bottle of brandy wherever he went. Is your uncle still alive? No. His ship ran aground when I was fourteen winters old. For what it's worth, I think staying was the right choice. I'm glad you approve. Either way, we digress. That's true. I'm still not sure I understand why becoming the Lord Marshal stopped you from having family. It was a choice. I probably don't need to tell you this. But love and marriage are as much a duty as any other. You cannot be a good husband or a good wife if you don't commit entirely. And the same goes for parenthood. And the higher I rose, the more I realize that people in my position, whose decisions affect the lives of tens of thousands, can and should only have one commitment. Their duty. Yes. I know it sounds dramatic, but it's the truth. I chose not to have a family, because the realm was my wife and its people were my children. Allowing somebody else into my life would have meant betraying the others. What about the Arendir bloodline? Who will carry on your name if you don't have an heir? My sister, Myra. But isn't she a widow? 
Yes. Her husband, Lord Utran, died in the Mage Wars. But she is still young, and once we've ended this madness, I will encourage her to look for a new, suitable partner. But there are commanders that have families. And they have them at an expense. If life taught me anything, then it's that excellence requires absolute dedication. And with the responsibilities that I have, I simply cannot allow myself to be distracted. Huh. Well, your dedication is definitely admirable. <laughs> Maybe. But we've wasted enough time. You wanted an answer, and that was it. Is there anything else you wanted to know? I'll be leaving now. All right.
got it. Yes, yes. Looking for some orcish craftsmanship? Yes, let's see. Armors and shields, everything from copper daggers to black ashen swords. Come again! May the Guardians have mercy on your trip. Now would you look at that? Zauraka, what do you need? I want to train the fire wheel. All right. Here's what we can do. Hmm. Tanda Tanda Itahar, come to trade? for the wary traveler. Come again. May Tiara bless your path. What can I do for you today? I want to equip the wave. I had hoped as much. What do you need? Good choice. 